Jason here with Kevin Vachon. We're at the MEFS Global NAS event in Arlington, Texas, where we're just wrapping up a busy and I, I would say very productive week. Kevin, let's go for a quick walk and hey. talk about the big trends. Love, love the weather. Yeah, it's nice and hot. <laughs> I love Always it. Always nice and hot here in Texas when I come. Absolutely. So it, it seems like this week is a, a pivot point, perhaps, you know, for the industry or, or for MEF. You guys are now going big with network as a service. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah, well, you know, we're in the middle of the industry, so it's a pivot point for both of us. And I, and I think the reason for that is, number one, is we stuck our, put our stake in the ground in terms of, uh, uh, you know, finally coming together to, uh, or bringing the industry together to lay out our position on what we think the future of NAS looks like. We, you know, we introduced the blueprint. But, and then we heard, like, perspectives on NAS from industry, like from enterprises, I should say, from service providers, from vendors, from data center players, aggregators. So this thing was kind of a readout this week. This is like the baseline where yeah. the industry is at. But we also heard, you know, them talking about their, their plans and so on. So I think, you know, the NAS industry, this nascent NAS industry has never come together in one spot before. So I think uh, from that perspective, we brought everybody together. We laid it all out there. And now yeah. we can start to chart the, the future in terms of how we would lead that and track it, monitor progress, you know, so, so on and so forth. Yeah, so where is it that MEF really adds value from this point going forward? Well, I think, look, we, we've, we've built numerous, numerous, you know, years and years of building s standards for services that are still very valuable today. Some of them are brand new, like our SASE services. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to deliver all of those to the industry. And of course, we're going to use traction with our automation. So just if you look at the products we have, highly valuable. But most importantly, you know, we're really a collaboration platform. If you look at how we've evolved over the years, it's not so much about paper standards anymore. I mean, we deliver that. It's important. Yeah. But how we take them to the industry and how we bring the industry together to use them, that's it. So that's, that's our big value prop, you know, bringing, bringing uh, the, the community together. Um, and are you seeing that ecosystem change? Oh, it's changing. Yeah, or? absolutely. It's changing. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you know, we didn't have Salesforce in MEF, uh, you know, two or three mm -hmm. years ago and ServiceNow. And we have all sorts of different players that are involved with billing and aggregators for IP mm -hmm. services and so on, internet access services and so on. So very much uh, a blockchain companies, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So it's, it's all of the, you know, we have an ecosystem vision which lays out who those, who those kinds of players are. And you know they're coming in one at a time. So I noticed. Cool. I noticed that you guys are also announced an enterprise leadership uh, <laughs> council. What, what's what's well, going on? Well, I with mean, that? if you want to, you know, network as a service is really mm -hmm. all about you know what enterprises, uh, you know, it's about delivering against their requirements in a, in a kind of new and a new way. And you know, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to to not have the the customer at the yeah, table. Absolutely. You know, so we wanted to bring. You know, a nice cross section of the enterprise community to the um, to the table, uh, and that's just a start. Like we intend on actually uh, having a broader program to bring enterprises into MEF yeah. over time. So it's the we're going to use the council to help us figure that out. Right. So it seems like you know one of the keys to success at MEF all along has been that community. You know, I see a lot of the same people who come here every year. They're obviously getting some you know value out of yep. it. How do you how do you think that's going to work as we go well, forward it, into this it, bigger it, NAS space? I think um, you know, it, 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 as we talked about, the community is changing. Mm -hmm. um, I think the trick to this business is figuring out the, uh, a mechanism for efficient engagement. Yeah, you know, some some individual at a company may not be able to fly to an event like this or come to yeah. one of our quarterly meetings. So we facilitate them coming in for a project meeting for an hour. Um, but we also change our structure to, to accommodate the kind of people that we need. Like a couple of years ago, we started this commercial and business committee because some of the other committees were too technical. Yeah. So we needed a place for like commercial people, business, product people. And, uh, you know, we shaped it and it's working. It's the most it's the busiest committee we have right now. So these guys bring requirements and then the other techie committees, uh -huh. you know, execute the work, right? So, you know, we're... When you run a, a nonprofit, you're a business like any other business. Yeah. It's just a different model because you don't have just employees. You have employees and volunteers, and you have to kind of bring that whole team together to yeah. you know, get some GDP out of it. Absolutely. So final word, what, what's next? What, what, what is the next element that you guys need to well, advance I, the game? Well, I think obviously we keep doing the work that we've been doing. Uh, you know, you look at the SASE certification program that was announced as well. I mean, 
That's got to be, that's in beta, it's going to go to GA. Uh, that holds tremendous progress. The LSO work is just continuing to do what we're doing. We're building out more types of APIs and, and, and pushing the adoption. I think though, we'll, from a NAS perspective, you know, we're going to track industry progress. Stan Hubbard, our you know, great industry analyst, put out yeah. a great report earlier this year, State of the Industry Report on Intercarrier you know, Business Automation. So yeah. he's going to start tracking adoption of NAS. He's going to track what the service providers are delivering as a, as a start, interviewing them, and, uh, and we'll be reporting back, doing readouts to the industry on the state of, you know, even a full, uh, a full uh, report next year. So I think it's really tracking progress uh, and figuring out how we can help, you know, move it forward. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me this well, week. Well, Jim, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Fantastic. Yeah, busy week. Thanks. All right. Take All care. Right. Thanks. Right, bye. Bye.